we have some very, very fascinating times ahead of us. The IHP community, that is, between 5D mystics and educators and beyond. I'm trying to organize my space. So, 5D, it's oneness consciousness because you get to be a person who has a three-year-old with a whole heart. I'm going to start with that. We don't forget about being human babies. That's the difference between a 5D mystic and anyone who's not in 5D. From the minute they begin mysticism, and I'm kind of laughing because I keep thinking that there are educators that fill in the gaps in a way that can help people who are in the sphere of mysticism to understand what's going on, but they, they don't. They keep using... Uh, it's not even spiritual talk, because if I want spiritual talk, I'm going to go to Sad Guru and get spirituality. Metaphysics and stories and talking to me about geometry is like talking to me about light. And, and that's where uh, gibberish is what I'm going to say. So on that note, here's what 5D mystics know about our oversoul and the sphere of the energetic imprint. And just when you're beginning this entire journey you're not one asking give me a list of how to handle it please i don't know how to handle it but let me again reiterate the three-year-old whole heart is very important because when you have self-confidence and empowerment from your attachment system in your human being body you're not looking to some human being to say oh tell me how to handle it you're recognizing i'm afraid or i'm uncertain i don't know what's going on i'm le i'm looking i'm seeking for supportive guidance and so the feeling is not desperation if there is desperation we recognize it and one of my it's actually a quite embarrassing story because intellectually speaking I'm usually pretty keen on things and this thing that happened I was like shit but then I remembered why I gave it credibility and so I basically got caught into getting scammed out of money as an entrepreneur I was in a specific position of trying to create a network and we all know that quick schemes don't work ever <laughs> so this thing that had popped up it was through linkedin and at the time linkedin was new and it had been spoken of marketed as some reliable platform and i say some because all of them are not reliable when it comes to cybersecurity, another area of my expertise yeah you, you better bet that you should really do your due diligence and i say should but a lot of people don't and they're not even fond of their own training in companies, which they have to train you and they should train you so that you can actually really try to look into those emails. I've gotten some that I'm like, wow, this one's really good from my bank. I mean, I know you're not from my bank though, but I'm not sure. So once you have an awareness and I'm 43, so I don't know if that makes a difference. Statistics do show that the younger generation, because they have the internet, it's kind of like the faucet. I forget that to have water in my home there's a whole construction and whatever right so that the same thing goes with internet in fact actually i think it's this one show that was showing how kids reacted to the dial up internet so there are things we forget to keep in our minds when time moves forward and that we forget to remember the in-depth aspects it doesn't mean it has to be sensationalized back to self-empowered people we don't oh my gosh no we have maha samadhi samadhi are the words i use with information it's completely data and your story is going to be something clear to me too which means your subjective opinion so when i'm seeing 4d educators i continue to see and hear the same things i heard when i began my own journey into Clareland, land and and so i'm translating for 5d mystics right now and the functional adult love language, it's part of our journey as well. The relationships, because being yourself is all about your relationships and you being, first of all, intimate with your three-year-old self. Your first three years of life, you have implicit memory building up. You can keep your brain basic. You got a left and right mode. And I was watching this lady explain something. And I'm going to again state a three-year-old whole heart is a person who's securely attached to be themselves. It's good. I'm Maria. I'm imperfect and flawed and I have no issue with it whatsoever. Do not know shame. In fact, ask my one parent that raised me. Ask my twin. Ask my younger sister. Just ask them. I have to interview them at a certain point. So I've always acknowledged Yeah, I don't have shame. I'm going to be myself. You don't like it. Peace out. That's it. I, I have no issue with you. And that's because we are not meaningful in each other's lives. 
unless, you know, we're meaningful in some way, and I'm not meaningful in that way. So when you're aware that we're all equals, it's simply because you have what is called healthy self-worth. Thank you, Terry Real. I'm not superior and fear, so don't look down at me. Don't look up at me. And if you look in either way, I'm probably going to be polite because I learned the song. If you can't say something nice, say nothing. And I was like, you know, that's pretty fair and square, but also because... Jesus, thank you for being in my corner. Forgive them for they do not know. Turn the other cheek. Treat people well. Don't disrespect all these lovely little rules that people seem to not know how to follow in the spiritual plane, by the way. So while the scientific methodology people have a lot of ways they can come to me and I'll be like, you know what? Okay, cool. Because they're in duality land. When I hear the spirituality people continue to talk and regurgitate, with, this is what it feels like at a certain point. And really it's like, a trash can that's vomiting, but it's not a trash can. And we got projection. I should be a little bit softer right now, but from a person who's seen so much talk and it's like, okay, when are people going to start to notice? And that's where back to three-year-olds with whole hearts, those 5D mystics will notice <laughs> like I did immediately. It's not going to take a genius. It's going to be like, hmm, wait a minute, you seem to be like the people who would not walk underneath the stairs or the ladder because of a cat going across the street and all this superstitious stuff. Are you a magical being or not? Because you just said you came from Starland and you have eye-seeing powers. Should you not be confident? There's a lot of inconsistencies when a person's not securely attached in their own body as a human being, grown-up baby. And again, back to our brain, left-right mode. Okay, so the implicit memory, it's always coming up. It don't go away. Your nervous system don't go away. And when people are so focused on only doing, I want to send, that's where, who needs a label? Who needs an identifier? Who needs something to know who they are? Attachment systems and social systems of people whose emotional body rules based on their peers. So again, three-year-old heart here not broken, not in any way, shape, or form. I consider myself lucky, and I did grow up with unconditional love, and I kept moving forward with it. So when it comes to being in 10th dimension, I just watched so that I could share a little bit about it. Yeah, it's nothing more than a person who can be equanimous, who can be respectful, who can understand. I don't walk in your shoes. You don't walk in my shoes. I have a subjective experience. It's called life, and my name is Maria. You have yours. I have clears. You probably could have clears too, but it does require you to take your emotional body and actually handle it with your own heart, which means to go from if you have a window of tolerance to a window of welcome. Some of us have a window of welcome for those six basic emotions. So like with fear, fear is my most unpleasant one. And that's because I love being alive in a body. In fact, when I see people who say, oh, I want to be in nothingness, I'm like, you're going to get there when you're old, when you go Right now, since you're here, don't you think you'd want to learn about what that is? Because that's dissociation, depersonalization, derealization. And it's a person doesn't seem you're very happy to be who you are. I'm going to go and get the good psych educators who talk to me about childhood trauma and PTSD, about attachment wounds, and I'm going to go on a journey that's going to help me to become a very grounded and in-the-body person. And then I'll think about all of the lovely, fancy People don't do it that way, obviously, and there's no need to. My somatic teacher, I keep him in mind when he says, all bodies know what they are going to be getting into and not, and I'm thinking, yes, but it takes them forever to just figure out how to get here because their educators are treating them like little children. Let me give you the rules. One, two, three, four. Let me give you the exercises that don't mean anything because you know what's going to happen when that PTSD stuff comes up and you don't have words because your first three years are no words. They're just sensations. I have good sensations. My three-year-old is my happiest childhood memory in my body. I know people that don't. And what comes up, if they don't have words and a psych educator telling them, they're not going to, no matter what kundalini, what, whatever you're going to give them, they're still going to feel off because they don't know that their emotional body was disconnected because in their household there was terror. And what they're living is called childhood trauma and that they can move out of it, but they need to be able to use their left mode to make sense of what's coming up in the right otherwise they're just jibber 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 and that's the part of why there's a difference and we'll do a take two 5d mystics want to empower and educate not create ethical little groups that continue to feed off of stories 
let's help people to understand themselves so they can move into that enlightenment vibration it's really awesome to have access in your body it's restorative embodied self tune in for more